And that's what it looks like. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make an amazing fire hack. Stay tuned. Before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone to make sure and give this video a thumbs up. If you like the video, I say it at the end of the video, but often people don't watch that far, and it really does help the algorithm push the video out to more viewers. Also make sure and check out our website at waypointsurvival.com. This is where we teach survival and bushcraft classes here at our training facility in Southern Ohio. We teach all the way from Phase 1 Survival and Bushcraft through our Primitive Survival and Bushcraft Phase 4. We have great competitive prices. I think you really enjoy what we have to offer. We'd love to have you in a class. To make this project, you're going to need a few items. First of all, you need to get one of these. Try not to flash the camera too much with this mirror. This is a 12X magnifying mirror. Just has some suction cups on the back. You can take those off if you wish. They just slide out of a slot and it's really not necessary for this project, but I'll leave them in there for now. Anyway, you need one of these, and I bought this at a yard sale for a dollar. I will put a link down below to some that you can purchase. You need a piece of copper wire. It's about seven inches long. Phillips screwdriver, and then a small Phillips head screw. It's just a small half inch or so. Then I have a bit of a paper towel roll. And finally, you're going to need some sort of a drill with a small bit that's small enough to make a pilot hole for the screw that you're going to use. First thing we need to do is locate an area that is between some of these holes here where those suction cups were to put a pilot hole for the Phillips head screw. I'll go ahead and drill that out and get back with you. Once you get that hole put in there, go ahead and start the screw and then screw it all the way in and just take your time to thread that in carefully. You want to screw that in until it is about the thickness of the wire. So you leave that little gap right in there. Next, you want to take the multi-tool, which I failed to mention in the beginning of the video, but I always have it with me so I sometimes forget that it's one of the tools I use a lot. And you're going to want to put a small hook in the end of the wire. So something just like that and then you want to make sure that it snaps in around here if that's too tight you might have to loosen it a little but you want a, a fairly snug fit like that so that this will stay upright but you can still take it off and on next you need to determine where this sunlight is going to hit so you need to know how far up above this magnifying mirror is the concentrated point of sunlight so you can do this with your hand, but be careful, it gets hot really fast. So mine's going to be about right here where this wire is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another loop in the top of this. I'll do that and get back with you. When you get that done, you're going to have a little loop that looks like this. And you want it to be flat to the plane of the mirror. Then you want to take your tube and you want to tear a piece off of it. something like this. Now I've left a little bit of a gap in here so that I can slide the paper in there and it will hold it and you can kind of adjust this however tight you want. Again you might have to pinch it a little bit more to make it hold. You want that to be fairly snug and then you need to adjust this so that the sunlight focuses on the paper. The nice thing about this being copper is you can adjust this and you can bend it to whichever direction you need the sunlight to go. You can see it's right there. So I can literally just move it around to where it needs to be. Okay, I've got it on there. And then all you need to do is just hold it in place. In short order, it's going to start smoking, as you can see. And of course, while I'm trying to demonstrate this and had a pretty good burn going, the sun went behind a cloud. So that's one of the struggles you have with solar ignition, but it's not really a big deal. Just wait a little bit and the sun will come out again. 
So the trickiest part of solar ignition is finding that dot and that's why it's important to have a piece of flexible wire so you can bend it to where it needs to be. But just hold that in place. You might have to chase the sun a little bit. All right, and there we go. You can see that we have ignition. Now we can simply put this in our fire, put it inside of our tinder bundle, and we're good to go. Of course, this will also work with punk wood or anything else that you might need to start a fire, charred cloth. You can take, you can take and put a little piece of, of charred material inside this little loop that we made. The only thing is you have to, like I said, you have to adjust it and you have to get it to where that that sunbeam is at a perfectly round little dot, its smallest point of contact, and you can feel it. It'll get super hot. You can burn yourself pretty easy, so you have to be careful doing this. Now, once this gets going, because the way you've got this snapped on here, if you don't want to use the mirror, you could literally just take it off and use it this way and put it over in your fire. So, it gives you a little handle to be able to use it with. To pack it away, you've got several pieces of this thin cardboard from off of that that roll you can just take this bend it to the side take that wire around the outside like this and put it inside of the box just like that the lid on it and now you have a great fire starter you can also use the mirror for signaling. You can use it because it's a magnifying mirror. If you have something in your eye, you need to look at something up close. It works great for that. It doesn't weigh much. and You can find these really cheap. I see these at secondhand stores all the time for 99 cents or something. So, like I said, I paid a dollar for this one. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure and check out the links in the description box below just under the More button. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take survival and bushcraft classes here at our beautiful training facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.